He is known for being one of the most important Christian philosopher theologians of the High Middle Ages. He is recognized for his considerable influence on both Catholic and secular thought. His name is John Dun Scotus. In the heart of medieval Europe, a brilliant mind emerged from the Scottish countryside. His name was John Dun Scotus, a man of great intellect and deep faith. Born into a world of academia and theology, Scotus embarked on a journey that would forever shape the course of Western philosophy. From a young age, Scotus displayed an insatiable curiosity, eagerly delving into the teachings of his time. His parents, recognizing his thirst for knowledge, encouraged him to explore all the schools of philosophy and theology. They wanted him to develop a broad perspective, unbound by the constraints of narrow thinking. As Scotus grew older, his reputation as a profound thinker began to spread. His contemporaries marveled at his penetrating and subtle manner of thought, a gift that earned him the prestigious scholastic accolade of Dr. Subtilis. Scotus' ideas challenged conventional wisdom, pushing the boundaries of philosophical discourse. One of his most groundbreaking concepts was the «university of being», which asserted that existence is the most abstract concept applicable to everything that exists. This idea challenged traditional notions of categorization and opened new doors for philosophical exploration. Scotus also delved into the realm of theology, arguing for the Immaculate Conception of Mary, a belief that would later become a cornerstone of Catholic doctrine. His complex arguments for the existence of God left scholars captivated and deepened the understanding of divine existence. Today, John Dunn Scotus continues to inspire and influence both religious and secular thought. His legacy is one of intellectual prowess and profound insight, forever etched in the annals of Western philosophy. Scotus' contributions to the realms of metaphysics, theology, and epistemology have left an indelible mark on the history of ideas, ensuring that his name will be celebrated for centuries to come. Little is known of Dun Scotus apart from his work. Born in the 13th century, Dun Scotus hailed from a prominent family and received the religious habit of the Order of Friars Minor. He was ordained as a priest in 1291, and it is believed that he came from the town of Duns in Scotland. Scotus's education took place at a Franciscan Studium General in Oxford, where he studied alongside his fellow friars. In 1300, Dun Scotus arrived in Paris to further his studies and began lecturing on Peter Lombard's sentences. However, his support for Pope Boniface VIII in a dispute with King Philip IV of France over taxation led to his expulsion from the University of Paris. Undeterred, Scotus returned to Paris shortly after and continued his lectures until he was unexpectedly sent to the Franciscan Studium in Cologne in 1307. It was in Cologne that Dun Scotus met an untimely end in November 1308. He is buried in the Church of the Friars Minor in Cologne, with an inscription on his sarcophagus that reads, Scotia me genuit. Anglia me suspit. Gallia me docet. Colonia me tenet. This Latin poem reflects the places that shaped his life and work. Though little is known about Dun Scotus's personal life, his philosophical contributions remain influential. His philosophy delved into complex topics such as metaphysics and theology, offering new perspectives on divinity and morality. While we may not have a comprehensive understanding of his personal experiences, we can still appreciate the profound impact his ideas have had on our understanding of the world. Dun Scotus's philosophy provides us with a framework to grapple with the complexities of life. His emphasis on reason and logic encourages us to critically examine our beliefs and seek a deeper understanding of truth. By engaging with his ideas, we can learn to navigate the uncertainties and challenges we face in our daily lives, striving to live with integrity and pursue knowledge. Dun Scotus, a prominent philosopher of the 13th century, is best known for his groundbreaking work on the sentences of Peter Lombard. This commentary encompasses a wide range of philosophical views and arguments that have cemented his reputation in the field. Among his notable contributions are the concept of the university of being, the formal distinction, the idea of less than numerical unity, the individual nature or thisness, his critique of illuminationism, and his renowned argument for the existence of God. Scotus's commentary on the sentences exists in several versions, with the ordinatio being the standard one. This version represents a revised edition of the lectures he delivered as a bachelor at Oxford. Although it remained incomplete when Scotus departed for Paris in 1302, it showcases his profound insights and original thinking. Additionally, his lectures at Oxford were transcribed and published as the lecturer, shedding further light on his philosophical ideas. During Scotus's time, commentaries on the sentences were no longer straightforward annotations. Instead, they served as platforms for engaging discussions on theological and philosophical matters. For instance, Scotus used Peter Lombard's text as a springboard to delve into complex topics like the location of angels and the question of individuation. 
By exploring these subjects, SCOTUS provided distinctive perspectives on continuous motion, the existence of angels, and the nature of individuality. In addition to his work on the sentences, SCOTUS also wrote extensively on philosophical and logical subjects. Early in his career, he produced commentaries on Aristotle's Organon, including works on Porphyry's Isagogy, Aristotle's Categories, Peri Hermeneas, and De Sophisticis Elenchis. His commentary on Aristotle's Metaphysics, composed in stages starting around 1297, further showcases his intellectual prowess. While some of his works were lost for centuries, recent discoveries and editions have shed new light on his contributions. Throughout history, there have been misattributions of works to Scotus, prompting scholarly debates and re-evaluations. Certain logical works, such as the questions on the prior analytics, were discovered to be mistakenly attributed to him. Scholars like Jacobus Navarros and Grabman questioned the authenticity of these works, leading to doubts about Scotus's involvement in logical writings. However, his impact on philosophy and theology remains significant, influencing thinkers and scholars to this day. Scotus's philosophical insights continue to resonate with contemporary audiences. His exploration of concepts like being, distinction, individuality, and the existence of God offers valuable perspectives that can help us navigate our daily lives. By contemplating these philosophical ideas, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, the world around us, and our place within it. Duns Scotus, the renowned philosopher, embarked on a journey of understanding that would forever change the way we perceive reality. Following in the footsteps of Aristotle, he delved into the realm of metaphysics, asserting that its subject matter is, being qua being. For Scotus, the concept of being in general, as a univocal notion, became the primary focus of intellectual inquiry. Challenging the prevailing belief of his time, Scotus rejected the notion of a real distinction between essence and existence. While his contemporary Aquinas argued that the essence of a thing is distinct from its existence, Scotus saw it differently. He believed that to truly understand what it means to be something, we must also conceive of it as existing. In his words, we cannot conceive of what it is to be something, without conceiving it as existing. For Scotus, this univocity of being meant that we should not make a distinction between whether something exists and what it is. In his view, we can only know if something exists if we have some concept of what we know to exist. This rejection of a separation between essence and existence opened up new possibilities for understanding the world around us. But how does this philosophy of univocity of being relate to our daily lives? It invites us to embrace a holistic perspective, where we see the interconnectedness of all things. Rather than compartmentalizing existence and essence, we are encouraged to view them as inseparable. This perspective can help us navigate the complexities of life by reminding us that everything we encounter has its own unique essence and existence. As we journey through life, facing challenges and seeking meaning, Duns Scotus's philosophy reminds us to embrace the unity of being. By recognizing the inherent existence and essence of all things, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves, others, and the world around us. Through this lens, we may find a greater sense of interconnectedness, empathy, and appreciation for the diverse tapestry of existence. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.